We continue under the settings icon to look at the measurement mode. In here there's three modes of measurement. One is a program measurement where you can actually write your own commands. If we enable this, you'll see here this is telling us the program which will be executed. We actually can go and look at a little demonstration program I've written where the first thing it does is set zero, then it does a measure, then it gives the operator an instruction, it does another measure, and it saves. So we can now run that program and show you what happens. So now when we run, the first step here is it sets zero. So this has now gone and set automatically to zero. And it says here, I've said first measurement, press yes, and it does it. It now gives an instruction, moved by one meter. We then say yes. Second measurement, we've done that. It will now save the file in the file name here. The program is then complete. And that's just a series of commands you can put together to run as an instruction. If we then cancel that, we can then come to a timed measurement. This gives us ability to do it, a program hands off. So we may say here, we want to do five measurements, and I want an interval of maybe hours. It may be in the night time, you want a few measurements to look at the uh, stability. I'm going to just do five second interval measurements. I'm going to wait five seconds before it starts, but you may choose a number of hours so that the factory has gone quiet or the air conditioner has changed before you actually do your measurements. So we now say yes, five measurements, five second intervals with a five second delay. And once we do the measurement start here, the information is shown here and what's going to happen. A countdown of five seconds, the first measurement, the total time remaining because it's uh, four times five, Number three, and then the fourth one, because it starts at zero, is the last measurement. It's now complete, so you can now save that. You can see the data, and in addition, you can look at the statistics from that. The maximum, minimum, mean, and standard deviation of both the X and the Y, which can be saved. Useful information. The last option on measurement mode, switching that off, is subjective. This may be for looking at uh, low reflectivity optics where the eye can see it, but the software has problems reading it. But now if we switch this on, we go into a mode where it is not automatic, but I am now moving the cursor, see it in the top left hand corner, by hand off the keyboard. And it's my judgment now, which is subjective judgment, which tells it where the center of the circle may be. And I'm positioning it by eye to the center. You'll see it's 6240. But what we can do, we can then zoom the dot to get a better refinement. So instead of 6240, it's now 6845. And we can zoom that a last time to do the best subjective judgment of where the center of the dot is if it's too faint for the automatic software to judge. And they are the modes of the measurement mode.